Hey guys, Breakfast Sonus here, back to our video. So in this video, we're gonna remake the new Martin Garrix track, Pressure. It's a really fresh, deep house track, so I really like it. So I thought we're gonna remake it in this video. We're gonna remake it from scratch. So we're making the bass presets, the leads, the drums, all from scratch in FL Studios. So let's straight dive into it. Now it's time to go back in the studio. So we got the tempo set at 115 BPM, the MIDI is loaded in. So let's start off with the bass. It's a really fresh deep house bass, combined of two layers, a sub layer and a main bass. So let's start with the main bass. We'll be making it from scratch in Serum, so... So as you can hear in the original, it's somewhere between a square and a saw bass. So we'll be using this MB saw wave stable. Sounding like this. We're gonna drop it an octave. We're gonna drag down the fine tune a little bit to give it more of a detuned sound. We say that we're gonna put up the unisense. Mm -hmm. It sounds really awful, but we're gonna filter it later on. So detune it just around here. Well, then just enable the filter so we can listen to it properly. Just like this. So we're gonna drag down the randomness just a little bit. It's not the sub bass, so it doesn't have to be completely mono. So then we're gonna shape the envelope too. So staying gonna be around halfway. Decay a little bit down. No bit of release. No bit of attack as well. So then we're gonna route the envelope to the cutoff. Snare, this will give it an effect that the original track has. Drive just around here. So besides that, when a higher note is playing, the filter sounds more open to me in, in the original, so we're gonna route the notes to the cutoff. What this will do is when a higher note is playing, the cutoff will open up some more. So that's a really nice trick to add some more harmonics to your bass sounds. So then we're gonna shave the second oscillator, it's gonna be an MB saw as well. Lower down one octave and put it up seven semitones to add some more harmonics. As you can hear this makes a major difference already, so same amount of unison and detunement. And the only difference is we're gonna put it up 20 fine tunings to give it more of that detune kind of effect. So, what we're then gonna do is route NFO1 to the cutoff because right now it sounds a little bit too, too digital, it's quite an analog synth, so this will create some movement in the bass line. And that's it for the oscillator, so now let's dive into the effects. So first we're gonna distort the sound with a hard clip. Drive just around here. And then envelope 2 to the drive. We're gonna filter it later on, so it sounds a bit distorted right now, but it's gonna thicken up the sound. Then we're gonna compress the sound, threshold just a little bit back. Quite a fast attack. Just to keep the punch, but to compress a little bit and bump up the gain. Then we're gonna EQ the sound. We're gonna dip it just around here. To cut out some muddiness of the bass line. Then we're gonna filter it again with a low 12. Just like we did with the previous filter. So this is the most important part, it's really gonna shape the sound. I think just around here sounds cool. So we do have the higher harmonics of the bass line, but it's not too distorted. Now I'm gonna put up the drive a little bit. Same for the fatness. And then the name of the mono legato to finish it off. 
think the sound could use a little bit more decay, so we're gonna bump it up. Just like this. Maybe some holes will add some more as well. Yeah, that it does add a little bit, so. Yeah, that's dope. And that's it for main bass, so now we're gonna make a sub bass. So now we're gonna dive into sub bass. It's gonna be a saw wave, two octaves down. It's quite a simple patch, filter it. Red one is gonna be down. Shape the envelope like this, sustain a little bit back. We'll be using the low 18, cutoff just around here, envelope one to the cutoff. So around here, quite some drive. A little bit of fatness. Then we're gonna dive in effects with a hyper dimension. Shape it just like this. Some down sample distortion. Just like this, to give some, to give some more higher, to give some more harmonics in the high ends. We're using a phaser with a frequency just around here and a mix around 15% just around here. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna compress the sound. Threshold just around here, a little bit of gain. Then I'm gonna go back to the filter and shape it. Just like this, and filter it afterwards. Just like this, then I'm gonna mix it. So it's the sub bass, so we're gonna give the high cut. Just around here, then we're gonna say then we're gonna sidechain it. Quite a big sidechain. And we're gonna make a sub mono just to be sure. Just like this. So then we're gonna mix the main bass. As you can see it's lacking sub and so we're gonna cut it out completely. So just on here where the sub bass is ending. Of course the side chain. It's gonna be a little bit less side chain. And that's it for now, so now we're gonna combine those two. So just like this. And that's it for the bass sound, so now we're gonna dive into the leads. So now we're gonna work on the leads. We got this inner preset. So we'll be using these kind of saw wave tables. This one. For both oscillators. Just at a low 24 filter, so we can hear them. Right now we're only gonna roll off the high ends. Just are gonna master volume a little bit. So we're gonna shape the oscillators. Oscillator B gonna be one octave and seven seven tones up to some more for some more harmonic fields. Left we're gonna be down a little bit. Now we're gonna shape oscillator A. We're gonna detune it a little bit. Just like this. Then shape the envelope. And that's it for us layers. So now we're gonna dive in the effects. First, we're gonna distort the sound with a soft clip distortion. We're gonna pre filter it. Drive gonna be up around here. 
Same for the mix. Just around 40%. That's not compression. With a really small attack. Release gonna be up quite high. And boost the gain to just around here. Then it's time for some queuing. Just roar off the highs. And give it a little dip at the mid lows. Then we're gonna add a real filter to it. We'll be using NFO one for that. Shape it just like this. Give some drive. And fatness, then we're gonna shape the first filter. Just to the point where it sounds dope. I think we can add some volume back. Yeah, that's cool. So now it's time for some reverb and delay. In the original track, it has quite some, re quite some delay and reverb, so... Shape it just like this. So then we're gonna mix it. I think it could use some OTT, add some more higher harmonics to the sound. It's right over here. Yeah, just like this. Then EQ it some more. Just cut it the lows, and I think we need to dip it just around here. And some side chain, of course, to finish it off. Yeah, that's cool. So now it's time to add the drums. So for the drums, I'll be using the sample pack for just like over and four. It's the perfect sample pack to make deep house. So it contains presets, drums, vocals, all the stuff you need. So if you want to check it out below, we're going to use the drum samples from the pack. So first kick, we'll be using this kick. Because in the original it's quite a stompy kick. Not a lot of punch. So this kick really matches that vibe. So copy it over. Then we're gonna add a clap. This one matches the vibe as well, so it's a bit too long because the original uses quite some short samples. Sounding like this. And it's dope. So then the open eye ads. It's really a simple drum pattern. We'll be using, the, we'll be using this one. And then just add it at the offbeat. It's a bit too long as well. So we're gonna shorten it. Just like this. So the drums sounds like this. Then it's time to do some mixing. So we're gonna mix a complete song, starting with a kick drum. So it's gonna be at minus 60B. Then we're gonna end the clap. Then it's time for the open heads. Open up the stereo field a little bit. Just like this. Then we're gonna add a sub bass. Just around here. Main bass. Just 
Just run here. And to finish off, we're gonna add a lead scene. Just run here. So then to finish it off, we're gonna load in a master. Just a quick master preset. I use this chain all the time, it's a Maximus preset. And, the, and then just on limiting, so we're gonna bump it up till it's clipping. So, and that's it for the video. So, if you like the video, please leave a like and you see more at the subscribe button. And the final result sounds like this.